Huzzah! And welcome to Blue Dragon Crafts. I have someone I want to introduce to you today, and that is Crafts. He's the Blue Dragon Crafts. And he came from a book. Um, and I should have brought the book with me. It's Fantasy Amigurumi. I got it on Amazon. It has really cute Loch Ness Monster, a um, couple dragons, couple fairies. Good book. I've is very helpful. Um, and anyway, now the one in the book, they suggested a three weight yarn, but I had some sparkly, and it's hard to tell, but he is sparkly. I had some sparkly four weight yarn left over from a project, and I wanted to go ahead and use that because I actually like the color too. So I chose that. So I think in the book he's supposed to be about six and a half inches and he's probably about 10 to 12 inches tall. I'm not quite done. As you can see, his spikes right now are being held on by some uh, yarn needles. Um, and that's because I'm not sure if I like the black spikes or not. They do have sparkles in them too. They're the same, um, I think it's Simply Soft Party yarn. Um, but I'm not sure I like them. I, I took the blue here came from a um, Mandela or Mandala yarn that was the uh, sparkle and I had made a dragon wing shawl out of that. <clears throat> but I had some left over so I used this blue. So I, I do have some more of this blue. I have a um, kind of like a bluish gray with sparkles I might use instead. There's another blue in that mandala, but it's it's kind of more of a greenish blue, and I don't really care for that. So anyway, this is Crafts. He's going to be my uh, YouTube channel mascot. So Blue Dragon Crafts, here's Crafts. And let me show you what else I've been working on. So my daughter graduates from college this month. Um, she'll actually be home this weekend and then has to go back. Um, she's turned in her senior thesis and all of that type of things, though I guess they're called capstones nowadays. Anyway, for her and her boyfriend, she wanted a couch blanket. And the one I want to do for her is a graph gan with um, some mountains. And it's going to take me a lot of work. So, in the meantime, I wanted to make her and her fiancé just a quick couch blanket. And this is two strands of Burnett Pop in Greenhouse and Ebony and Ivory held together. Just a simple moss stitch. It's just single crochet, chain one, single crochet, and repeat forever. <laughs> It does work up fast though, and I have to tell you, this is a, a really warm blanket already. Now she wants it backed because the one I have on my couch is backed. It's a corner to corner throw. Um, and so I will go ahead and back this. Now I backed mine with the fleece, but I'm thinking this is already so heavy. I may just do a flannel or see if I can find those really cheap, lightweight fleece blankets. Sometimes Walmart or Target will have them. Um, that would be a nice backing. So I've been working on that. That's kind of a brainless project. Um, the project I was working on when I was at my mom's, and I am home now, um, was my waffle blanket. And I have two panels of this. And I had started making some granny squares to put in the middle and around the edge. And I decided I actually didn't like the way the colors were coming together. But I did pick up, an, this pink is not nearly as pink as it's showing up on the camera. This is actually light raspberry. It's a kind of a dusty pink. And then 
This is a big twist from Joann's and it is light rose. So what I think I'm going to do is just do a panel in the middle and I might do a row of hearts on it or something to kind of jazz it up, give it a little dimension to go with the waffle stitch. But I haven't worked on that except to finish the waffle panel since I got back from my mom's. Um, <clears throat> while I was at my mom's, she did pick out some yarn from Hobby Lobby because that's the only real craft store besides Walmart they have where she lives. And she really liked this variegated, it's the soft secret ombre, and she wanted a granny square blanket. So I came up with a design. Mm, let me find it. The finish square. I know I have a finish square in here somewhere. Or not. Because all I have in here right now, it seems, are these middles. And when I do my granny squares, I tend to be very methodical. I tend to do all of the middles first, and then the next row, and then the next color change, and so on and so on. Well, I thought I had put that in there, but it may be in a different bag. Let's see. Yep. So, this is the design she liked. Um, it's kind of a variation on a stained glass or mosaic granny square. Um, I tried to simplify these squares since I'm going to be making about a hundred of these. Um, I also did, well I probably did about 12 of these before I really came up with one I liked. This one is the same, but it has the solid middle and this one of course has the variegated middle but I think I'm going to do these with the variegated middle. I thought about doing some with the solid, some with the variegated, and some with this um, darker color but decided to keep them the same and I'm not sure I'm gonna how, how I'm going to join them. I'm going to wait until I get them pretty much done and then I'll Play with it and see. I'm sure I'll end up using this base color to join it. So working on that for my mom and yes those were in the project bag I made. So Michaels has come back out with their cotton cakes. Um, this is the solid color and these are really nice. These are a size 4 it's 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. They are 530 yards. So you can get a, a decent project out of one of these. And it's really nice. The solids they have match the variegated. So I had picked up a variegated in the nested blues. Because blue is, of course, my favorite color. And I made a little project bag. And I didn't worry about ending on a solid color or counting, or I just kind of went with the flow. Um, I lined it. I had some dragon scale lining, um, put some hook pockets, place to put my hooks and scissors, and then I made a little pocket on the other side. And I just sewed that lining right to the edge here. I, you know, I can hand sew and I don't mind hand sewing, but I actually um, like when the look when it is sewn and I, you certainly can't tell. So I made that project bag to hold the granny square project I'm working on. I all, now my daughter also wanted a small purse. So I made her, now she is 22, but um, she likes a little purse. 
So I made this little purse for her and it is actually made out of the Big Twist yarn. And this is the Sincerely No Pilling yarn. And I like this yarn because it almost has a cotton feel. It's a polyester nylon, or I think it might be 100% polyester. <clears throat> it's not the softest yarn, and it almost, I hate to say it, has a plasticky feel. But for bags, it works out really well. It doesn't fuzz up. Um, and this was actually the variegated and the rose, but they're so close that you really couldn't tell. Um, and I did line hers. I just, I don't know why I'm not a pig person, but I was looking for a lining and I just thought these little pigs were absolutely adorable. So I lined it with pigs. I did put a little pocket in. Um, the strap has buttons inside, clear buttons. So you can adjust it, make it longer or shorter. So I made that one for my daughter and this was, you know, this one worked up super quick, but it was fun. Um, now I have a couple things. Oh, I do have the yarn here that I made it with. I wanted, it did want to show you because, so it's this big twist sincerely. And I've made multiple bags with this yarn. And it just holds up so well, works up so well for an acrylic yarn. And it is, yeah, it is 100% acrylic. And this is what I have left after making the bag. So I could probably get two bags out of one skein if they're small bags. Now, I've been waiting to open. I got my Annie's. This is the Hook and Needle Club. Now, I have already canceled these for next month. I just couldn't justify the price. It's after tax, it works out to about $26. $19.99 for the kid, and then shipping and handling and tax. And that, you know, that's, I don't know. I just wasn't doing it for me. And I've seen, actually peaked and seen reviews online and I wasn't that excited with this month's kit. So anyway, let me go ahead. I haven't opened it. And I might be thrilled with it in person. And if I am, I can always start the kit back up again. But for right now, I just don't think it's, it's worth it to me. So let me see. So that is very beautiful yarn. That is a black and red, um, looks like kind of a long striping yarn. I'll go ahead and take it out and feel it. Oh, that is soft. This is like an unforgettable, kind of has that sheen and a little bit of fuzz. Smells good, very soft. Um, it is machine washable, tumble dry. It's a number two sport weight yarn. Hmm. Yeah, I, I two or a three. It's it's not a real fine sport weight, but that's okay with me. Um, it is a hundred percent acrylic, so. There's reds and greens. This is almost a purpley. There's a fading here. Kind of some orange. I do really like this yarn. And there are three skeins of it. And it looks like the pattern is for a shawl. And this is, that's the knit shawl. This is the crochet shawl. 
And I did find their patterns, you know, readable, very well done. Um, it's an easy level pattern, looks like kind of a um, ripple. Now, I'm not really a shawl person. I do think this would make a gorgeous shawl. I don't think this is the pattern I would choose, though. Um, so I'm sorry my camera's shaking. My cat has decided to join me. Um, he has to see what's going on at all times. Come here, Valiant. Come here. Say hi. Now. Well, he doesn't want to say hi. He just wants to see what's going on. Um, he's always got to be involved. I always say he's like half dog. He always wants to be where you are and see what you're doing and be part of it. So, Valiant, you can jump down now, dear. So anyway, that was the Hook and Needle Club. And I also have the Caring Crochet Club. And I have canceled this one also. Val, come on, jump down. Say hi. And now jump down. Um, so I have the Caring Crochet Club, which is the same pricing, and I have canceled it, like I just said. Um, I did make the projects from last time. They did work up nicely. So this one is three skeins. Uh, Real pretty colors, a tan and a teal and a kind of a sea foam green. Let's see, these are 100% cotton, 190 yards, 4 ounces, wash, uh, machine wash cool, tumble dry. And so that's the tan. It's coming out a little grayer on the screen. It actually is a tan. Um, pretty teal. And then this pretty sea foam. Um, has three buttons. And it is for these dishcloths. And the idea is to send them to Catholic Charities. So, established in 1922, Catholic Charities of the Diocese of Fort Wayne South Bend strives to eradicate poverty and strengthen families by serving our clients as Christ would have us do. And then it has a, a website and an address, and you can send these dishcloths to someone who could use them there. And this looks like a really nice pattern. Um... So I will work those up. Um, I Last month was Project Linus, and I am still finishing up that baby blanket because I got two-thirds of the way through, decided I didn't like the pattern, and started again. Now, I have one more thing. So Reddit, Reddit is an online website, and they have subreddits. And one of the subreddits is um, crochet, and they had a yarn exchange. So I sent, and you don't match the same person you're sending to, it's randomized. So I sent to someone, and then someone else completely different is sending to me. Um, I don't want to show her name, but this is what I got. And I am dying to open this and see. And so what I had said on my matching was, I like blue. <laughs> um, I like three weight and four weight yarns. Um, and so, let's see what's in the box. Ooh, looks pretty so far. So there is a very nice project bag. 
that starfish and this uh, water pattern. Let's open it up. It's like Christmas. Ooh. So this is a Knit Picks. Ooh, this is soft. Wonderland Heather. And this is a 100% Superwash Merino wool. Ooh, that is so soft. Beautiful color. And then, <laughs> Oink Sport. And it is a 100% Superwash Merino sport weight also. Uh, they're both, is this 100 grams? No, this was 50 grams. This is 100 grams. And that is a beautiful teal color. And how cute. The colorway says Reading Cat on it. So that was my Reddit username. Um, there is... A delicate wash so I can wash up what I make. Beautiful blue stitch marker and a little pad. And they are Knit Picks greeting cards and they have knitting needles on them. Well, I crochet, but close enough. So that is what I got from my Reddit exchange. And that was very nice. Thank you very much to my Reddit exchange match. That was wonderful, so caring and thoughtful. And so today has been one of those days where I've had to search for happiness. It's And, and nothing's wrong, just I took a um, framed picture of my dad from his funeral to have it framed for my mom for Mother's Day. I've taken it home with me and I want to get it back to her. I know she's missing the picture. Um, and so, you know, it just brings up memories. And um, But I thought, you know what? It is just a gorgeous day outside. The weather's clear. It's cool. We haven't gotten into those 100 degree days yet, which I know are coming, but today's a gorgeous day. And, um, you know, the cats, cats want loving, and I always think, you know, if you need a little happiness, pet a cat, pet a dog, go outside, take a deep breath, feel the fresh air, look around you, you know, we live in a wonderful age and wonderful time, and there's so many wonderful people out there, so you have to kind of find your happiness and find your wonderful. So I hope you find your wonderful this week, and huzzah, and next week crafts will have some spikes and be here to say hi again. So huzzah from Blue Dragon Crafts.